Frustration, we'll talk about frustration again tomorrow. Frustration, though, leads you to mountains of emotions. Trust me. Now, in, in Peter's case here, the frustration was they're not speaking loud enough. Right? First thing, they're not speaking loud enough, kicks in. Then where does he go? He tries to correct it. Right? So he went over to try to correct it. Then this went off, another frustration. Right? Can you see how your law of attraction is creating frustration events? I can see. <laughs> Okay, accept what you're saying, but I, I don't know what to do with that. Okay. Can you speak up a bit, please? <laughs> <laughs> Good soul interaction. <laughs> yeah. so, so what do we do with it? What we usually do is lay... The, the projection was... They need to speak up louder. So where does the frustration get focused? For you, sir, I'm talking. It's getting focused externally. Something has to change. The reason why is because you don't want to have to do what you seem to have to do to correct the issue. And there's very big childhood events connected with this frustration. Really? Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, we could easily skip over frustration events. Most of us do, actually. Yeah. Don't we? How many times is something mildly frustration? Oh, well, you just, in a way you go something else. Dismiss it constantly. We generally dismiss frustration events more than we dismiss almost any other events. Yeah. How many of us like feeling frustrated? Not a very nice feeling. So the key is to go deeper into it and uh, start asking yourself what's related. This is very much related to your childhood, actually. Yeah, and some childhood emotion. And you know there's been many frustration events for you over the past three or four months coming at you. Plenty. Plenty. Yeah. So the key is... I never, I never get any further. Exactly. I, I can notice myself getting frustrated and I go, oh wow, I'm really frustrated about this. And then I get to a dead end. I'm just reflecting. What's the next step? I've acknowledged it here. Start feeling the frustration. What do we normally do with judgment of that? We don't want to feel frustration. Yet. If you're already frustrated, aren't you feeling the frustration? Uh, frustration covers huge amounts of anger. And, and, and we need to step into that anger. So it's not to feel the frustration because you already are, it's to go deeper. Yeah, well, by saying that we we're observing our own frustration, but we're not allowing any deeper emotion. Right? And it's the deeper emotion, it's the, the frustration will cover some really, really big emotions. Really big emotions. Often of even rage. Often you'll actually step down and step down. And so, into rage. Master, what would you have done in my situation? <laughs> Firstly, I don't know if I can answer a question starting with Master. Uh, <laughs> I'm, anyway. I'm teasing you. <laughs> Alright, so, oh wow, I'm really frustrated, is an observation. It's not actually feeling the emotion, it's an observation. It's an intellectual observation. Now allow myself to really sit in the emotion. So take time out now to sit down by yourself. Go back over this event in your feelings now and feel the frustration. And then allow, I'm allowed to be angry. You keep saying this, I'm allowed to be angry. I'm allowed to be frustrated. I'm allowed to be angry. I'm allowed to be enraged. If that's how I'm feeling inside, I'm allowed these emotions. Start allowing yourself to feel them. At the moment, there's some very strong judgments in you because of the lots and lots of training that you've had to, to get over the frustration events intellectually, to skip them over. Remember, we've talked about that privately, where, you know, so we're here at this point and we skip over and we become calmer here, but there's all this emotion inside that we just didn't process. And it's still there, of course, still creating every frustration event. 
And that's why we keep getting frustration event, frustration event, frustration event, over and over and over and over and over again, until we get out of, oh wow, I'm really frustrated, down into, oh wow, I'm really angry, and oh wow, like I want to bash the thing, and you actually go out and do that. You know, you actually go out, get the baseball bat on the punching bag, and away you go. And you yell and scream and swear and, and allow yourself to experience the frustration. And then when you do that, you'll find within, usually within a few minutes, like for me it's usually within 10 seconds, I'm in the grieving emotion. And then usually I just collapse and then I'm in the grieving emotion. So it's rare, rare now for me to go through that. But that, uh, I knew one guy who took three weeks to learn that, four hours a day before he felt his first grieving emotion. He was totally detuned from all emotion. No, no, his, his name's Nate. He was totally detuned from all emotion and it took him four hours a day, two hours in the morning, two hours every night. He actually went out to this pump, a punching man. Actually, you can buy these neoprene rubber men, right? <laughs> that you fill with water. You've seen those? They're, they're pretty expensive. I think they're about 800 bucks or something. And, but, but they're really great in that when you punch them, they sort of flick back at you and everything. There's, there's a bit of a reaction in there as well. And, uh, and he would get there with a bat and then punch him back. And, and he would get to the point of exhaustion but still not connect with the emotion. And he did that for three weeks before he connected with the first emotion. And what connected him was the night before we talked about how much he was resisting because of his judgment. And once we talked about that, the next day I went into it and got into the emotion, the grieving emotion. And that's what you'll need to do. Step down into the frustration, into the anger, into the rage that's there, and really, really go for it then. But at the moment there's a lot of judgment. There's a judgment of I'm not being spiritual if I'm in this state of rage. I'm not, you know. It's not, it's not something that I want to experience, is also some of the feelings coming from you. you know, you've been taught through much of your life that you can choose your experience. This is a very new age philosophy, right? That you can choose to feel good. You don't have to feel bad, you can choose to feel good. You know? my, my answer to that is, if you're making a choice to feel good, then you're already not feeling exactly what you're feeling. 